Hello YouTube, welcome to another episode of Run Level Zero. I've been excited to do this episode for a while. For the last week I've been running Manjaro Linux as my installed operating system and it is a very impressive project. Manjaro is based on Arch Linux. Arch is an independently developed Linux operating system and is typically aimed at the more advanced user and as such it is often out of the reach of the 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 people that are new to Linux which is a shame because Arch is very stable it's fast it's lightweight and it's it's also a rolling release distribution which means that you will always have an up-to-date system there'll never be any any need any requirement to upgrade your system or reinstall you can be assured that you'll always have not only the latest software but in many cases the latest bleeding edge software Manjaro is based on Arch but it is not Arch it can be seen in my opinion as Arch for the masses um, it, it's user-friendly and it is suitable for well let me let me qualify this statement it is suitable suitable for new users but not every new user and what I mean by that if you're a new user that's excited about Linux that wants to get into Linux get under the hood of Linux and learn how it works learn how to do things for yourself and increase your skill level then Manjaro is the distro for you if you're a user that's just a casual user, someone that just wants a good out-of-the-box experience, Manjaro may be right for you. I would encourage you to test it, but you are going to have to get your fingers a little dirty if you want to go anywhere in Manjaro or anywhere in, in, with Arch in general. Now, because Arch and Arch-based distros like Manjaro are developed with the intermediate to advanced user in mind, this this means that Arch is and Arch-based distros are some of the most well-documented distributions out there. Uh, they also have some of the best support communities out there because Arch was designed to be built from the ground up. So if you run into any issues or if there's anything you want to do as far as customizing your your Linux distribution, Arch will have an answer online somewhere. The Arch Wiki. Uh, the Manjaro documentation somewhere there will be document documentation to, to point you in the right direction of what you want to get done Arch is feature or Manjaro rather is feature rich Manjaro is Arch that has been put together packaged and is ready to go out of the box no configuration necessary no customization necessary all of your uh, software packages applications for your common day-to-day -day computing tasks all of your codecs and drivers everything is configured ready to go out of the box arch i keep saying arch manjaro is elegant it is beautiful it is a well thought out well put together distribution and in a landscape that is dominated by ubuntu based distros it's refreshing to see a project like this emerge. The Manjaro website is very user friendly, gives you a, a good idea of what the overall feel of Manjaro is going to be like. And in their about section, they say Manjaro is a user friendly Linux distribution based on the, the independently developed Arch operating system. Uh, it's developed in Austria, France, Germ and Germany. Uh, provides all the benefits of the Arch operating system combined with a focus on user friendliness and accessibility. Uh, it does come in 32 and 64 bit editions and on the website the primary uh, flavors of Arch are the XFCE desktop which if you've watched my videos you know I love XFCE but they also offer a open box edition which is the the edition that I chose to download and install and we're going to be taking a look in more detail at Openbox Edition. But note 
that there's also a minimal net install edition and links to community editions. Now the community editions will give you access to let's see they have an a enlightenment desktop a mate desktop KDE LXDE and cinnamon now I did download cinnamon and I will be doing a another review on the cinnamon Manjaro here very shortly but with any of these it, it just goes to show what type of choice and freedom that you're going to have with Manjaro while it's Manjaro under the hood you can choose your favorite desktop environment and it's already pre-installed. Taking a look at the Openbox edition of Manjaro Linux, when you boot up, this is what you're, you're greeted with. Now my overall impression of the Openbox edition of Manjaro is lightning fast. Lightning fast ultra lightweight desktop that sacrifices nothing when it comes to accessibility and usability. When you boot up into Manjaro you're given the Manjaro welcome screen. On the welcome screen I've already said, uh, said about how impressive the Arch based and Manjaro uh, documentation is and you have links to this documentation here. You have the support in the forums and chat rooms. You can get on mailing lists. You have the README and the documentation, a list of the new features, a link to the wiki, as well as ways to get involved in the project. Perusing the new features page, we are running Manjaro 0.8.7, and it gives you a brief overview of some of the features you can expect to encounter inside this distribution power, speed, and efficiency. That is in a nutshell what you're getting with Manjaro Openbox. Manjaro is very friendly on hardware and they have a custom hardware detection utility um, that will allow you to install and configure drivers from your Linux kernels. It's phenomenal but it is command line based and I would say that it's probably going to be geared more toward the intermediate to advanced users. There's even a way under Manjaro ISO that allows you to respin Manjaro as you see fit. So if you want to, you can actually come in, customize your Manjaro installation, and then respin it as a new ISO. That's really neat. You know I'm a fan of Remaster Sys, and this gives you that functionality right inside Manjaro. In addition to the Manjaro welcome screen, there's a beginning user's guide, which I wish more Linux distros had something like this. Um, it tells you all about Manjaro, gives you a little bit of history on, on what Manjaro is and what it is not, how it differs from Arch, and it talks to you about the new features in Arch, or in, in Manjaro rather. It even goes through telling you how to download and burn the ISO, whether you be, whether you're, you're running from Linux or a Windows operating system tells you how to even install it under VirtualBox. This is a, this is the most impressive new user's guide that I've seen. Uh, it tells you how to use and identify the hardware drivers. It even goes through some of what is Linux and the benefits of Linux. Uh, why is Linux free and, and like I said um, how Manjaro differs from Arch itself. Under the hood, we can see you have a wide range of software that comes pre-installed, even on the Openbox distro. Now, open Openbox distros or distros that use the Openbox desktop environment are known for being lightweight, and some of them can be a little too slim. The Openbox Manjaro sacrifices nothing as far as us usability goes. Of course, it's using the Thunar file manager, which is common for OpenBox. Nitrogen for XChat, you have screenshot listed, as well as your terminal. Under accessories, you have a archive manager, a bulk renamer, catfish file search. You have a calculator, leafpad as your terminal editor. Uh, Synapse, which we're going to get to here in just a few minutes. De there are several development tools in here for Qt, and you have Genie 
for your, your text-based uh, uh, coding. Under Graphics, it comes with the eDocument Viewer and View Noir. Under Multimedia, I installed Kden Live. It does not come with Kden Live, but you do get Parole. You get your Pulse Audio Volume Control. Under Network, it comes, I installed Chromium myself, but it comes with Firefox. Under Office, you get a, doc, a uh, document viewer for PDFs, and there's a launcher here for you to install LibreOffice. Under your settings, you can customize the look and feel. You have the Flash Player, a Keyboard, and just Settings Manager. Here's the Manjaro Settings Manager. Ask for your Sudor's password, your admin password. You can manage your language packs, your keyboard settings, and user accounts from Manjaro Settings. Which the Manjaro Settings looks an awful lot like the Linux Mint Settings Manager. I think they may have ported it over. Under Advanced Settings, you have your Compton Compositor, Conky, as well as OB menu. You can you can uh, customize your menu settings here. I'm going to do another short video on how to customize these settings. Under your system, your add remove software is done via Octopi, which is a front end for Pac-Man. It is not the most user friendly, not the most feature rich uh, package manager system that I've ever ran, but it gets the job done. you can search and then with a simple right click you can choose to install or remove your software it's it's pretty intuitive it's easy I do like the tabs on the bottom that gives you more information about your software packages it tells you what files are included so it's it's not bad again it's not the best it is pretty neat you have a news tab down here that you can refresh and see the latest news on Manjaro so that was a, actually a pretty neat feature, a pleasant surprise to find an Octopi. Let's see, under System, you also have your firewall configuration, which I'm, I'm happy to see that installed. There's no, uh, there's no uh, uh, antivirus installed on here, which you don't really need it if you're just running uh, Linux. It's, it's pretty bomb-proof. But if you, if you interact with other users that are running Windows, you may want to consider installing Clam Antivirus just so you don't send an infected, fire, an infected file on down the line to your non-Linux friends. You have Gparted for your partition management. Uh, again, I installed VirtualBox. It does not come with VirtualBox installed. And you have a system profiler and benchmark utility. Your desktop comes, it, it's, it's a beautiful operating system, very responsive. You get this nice uh, taskbar at the top, which is configurable. And again, I'm going to do a, 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 uh, another video on how to configure this in, in a little bit. We'll add a, a battery monitor to it. But Conky here, that's set up on the desktop, has some neat, uh, I guess, quick reference shortcuts that I would suggest you get to know because it can make navigation much easier. The super key is the Windows key if you're not familiar with it. So if you hit, uh, let's see, super F, it'll open Thunar for you. Nice icon scheme. Synapse will be your friend. Synapse is a utility to help you quickly find your applications so if you hit Super S, it opens Synapse, just start to type, you can see Chromium pops up and just press Enter to launch it. There's another uh, Super M open up, will open D menu, you can see it across the bottom of the screen, and it functions the same way. You just start to type and it will give you the options that you found based on, uh, based on the search results. So you just click enter and it will open your application of choice. Very easy to navigate, very fast and I mean Openbox is, is lightweight and fast anyway and I think that pairing Openbox as a desktop environment with a system like Manjaro which is quick and responsive on its own 
it was a very wise decision on behalf on on behalf of Manjaro team, because what this does is it you're you're not wasting memory, you're not wasting processing power just running an idle desktop environment. A lot of the other desktop environments can be very resource heavy. Uh, for example, KDE, Cinnamon, Gnome, all of those can can at idle consume almost or more than half a gig of RAM, that's RAM that you could be putting toward running other processes or actually running the applications that you're trying to work on. So you're not really sacrificing anything in the way of usability when it comes to using a lightweight desktop like LXDE or OpenBox, what we're using here. You're just saving that RAM, you're saving those resources, that processing power to be dedicated toward actually running your programs that you that you want to be interacting with anyway. So it was a wise decision on, on behalf of Manjaro to include this beautifully put together open box environment. Well, that's about it as far as open box goes. Um, I'll be coming back with a review of their cinnamon respin here in just a little bit, as well as a video on how to configure these these uh, menus. It's pretty easy, but not necessarily intuitive as well as how to add a battery monitor to the desktop please let me know what you think download Manjaro give it a try uh, I've been very impressed with it um, please don't forget to subscribe rate comment if you like what I have to say give me a thumbs up uh, please don't forget to give me your comments questions or emotional outbursts below and I hope to be back with you soon with another video thank you